Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're talking about making our own custom palettes. It's something I love to do. It's something a lot of you love to do. Something that Lethal Cosmetics has basically mastered on their website. The palette builder tool on the Lethal site is unmatched. I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna walk you through the process of me designing this palette. And Lethal Cosmetics actually just recently gave me an affiliate code for their site, which is really exciting. I'd say over the past year or so, I've just become such a huge fan of the brand. I love their shadows. Like I said, I love their palette builder tool. I really like their formulas. I'm just a huge fan of the brand in general, so I'm very happy to have an affiliate code with Lethal Cosmetics. The code is just my first name, so just Amanda. And for the next month, so through the end of March, this code will actually save you 20%. Typically the codes are 10%, but through the end of March only, you'll actually be able to save 20%. So definitely don't miss out because their shadows are a little bit expensive. In my opinion, they are worth every penny and I've purchased so many of their palettes. So I definitely think it's worth it, but it's always nice to be able to save a little bit and just so that we're all on the same page. That is an affiliate code, so I do earn a commission if you choose to use the code. I appreciate anybody who does support the channel in that way, but it's never gonna be any pressure for me. It's never gonna be any hard feelings. If you're not into it, if there's another code, if you don't, da, 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 you know the drill. It's all just for fun here. Before I show you the palette I created, I'm gonna walk you through the process of designing this and using the palette builder tool. And then I'll show you the swatches, I'll show you an eye look. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you everything. So let's get into designing the palette first. We're on the Lethal Cosmetics website here and there are a couple different ways to navigate to the palette builder. So if you just scroll down on the main page, there's a little thing right here that says build your own palette. You can click there to get to the palette designer, or you can go to the drop down menu and you can select palette designer there. So two different ways to get there from the website. And once you click into the palette designer, you can choose all of these different palettes. They have different sizes, like there's a six pan size, there's a nine pan size. I have a all like purple and pink nine pan that I really love. And they also have palettes without the little wells, so a more of a free form type of palette. And you can really just design to your heart's content. I'm going to go with the patchwork palette. I have one of these already. I have this like palette with other shades in it. And I just really like this layout. I like a 12 pan size. I like the little wells. And like I said, I have a bunch of shadows. So if you look on the palette designer tool here where you select the shades, there are these little white stars. That means that you've already purchased that shade. I love this feature. This is a game changer. You can hover over the shades to see the little swatches. There's just so much going on here. So you click the shadows to add them. You can pick them up to drag them and rearrange them. It's super smooth. Just this whole interface is really, really thoughtful. And then to get rid of a shade, you just drag it down to the little trash can to delete it. I feel like they've just thought of everything. I absolutely love that they indicate the shades you already have. I think that is just so, so smart. This is probably one of the most standout features. And it's also really easy to rearrange the shades. I know on other custom palette sites, it's not quite this smooth and easy to rearrange. I just, I love, I love this palette builder. It's so much fun to play with. Now, the way that I start is I go through and I just select a couple shades that call to me. I've really been wanting a green and purple based palette. So I'm going to select these two matte shades that I've really had my eye on and then two shimmers that I've really had my eye on and just sort of start to develop the color story from there. So I'll think about a matte and a shimmer that 
I can imagine using together that just really draw me in. And then I'll start to arrange the palette around those as far as what else I think I would need for a look, what is exciting, inspiring, what I feel like are not only shades that excite me, but things that I can really see myself using. So for example, I love a bright inner corner or like iridescent topper type of shade. So I've really had my eye on their new multi-chrome. So that's why I'm picking Parallax. It's something that interests me, but it's also something that really feels useful in the context of the shades that I'm choosing. I want to make sure that I add some depth to my palette. So that's why I'm selecting this really dark matte purple shade called Night Call. I've also really been wanting this backdraft shade. It doesn't quite fit in with my color scheme yet, but I'm going for a more colorful than neutral palette. Not to say I won't put neutrals in there because I always like a little bit of neutral. I do like a nude neutral transition shade. So that's why I'm looking through this one, Pilgrim. It looks like a really neutral undertone, but it might be a little bit too light. I want something that's going to work with the warmer greens and the cooler purples that I've chosen so far. That's why I selected this midway shade. I just think it's going to be the perfect sort of bridge between these developing color stories that I have going on here. Now that my color scheme starting to develop, I think that this palette is really coming together in three different rows. So the top row is more of a cool purple. The middle row is more of a warm green. And then the bottom row is a more warm toned peach and berry. So now that I have my vision of what type of looks and what type of color scheme I want here, that will help me fill in the rest of my shades. My green row definitely needed some depth and my bottom row, the like peach and berry row needs a mid-tone matte shade for a transition. So that's kind of how I choose the shades, especially perfecting those final shades. I know what I need to make a look. So I first grabbed the shade called Remission, but I think it's a little too matchy-matchy with Backdraft. I think I want something that's going to be a little bit more warm neutral instead of peachy pink because then that warm neutral can work really really well with the green row as well so sometimes you have to be willing to kind of switch it up and really think about how these shades will cohesively come into looks and not just what looks pretty all together although you know we love that too <laughs> final shades are Parallax, Release, Descent, Stargaze, Midway, Runaway, Syncope, Lucid, Backdraft, Delirium, Rebirth, and Night Call. So that's my completed finished palette. I'm really happy with this. So I'm going to add that to cart. And once it's in the cart, you can see the price here. My final total was just over 81 for the palette, plus shipping ended up being just over 90 US dollars. But if you add my affiliate code Amanda and redeem that, then with the 20% off, it's over $16 savings. So that takes the final total of the palette plus the shipping below 75, which is still expensive, but for a high quality custom indie palette is a really good deal. 
Now that you've seen the final product online, I wanna show you the swatches of this palette. Here are some swatches of my finished palette now that it has arrived in my hands here. On top are finger swatches and then below are brush swatches. This formula is just absolutely insanely good. I know I've said that so many times in other videos, but I think you can really tell when you see these different kinds of swatches. Looking at these textures up close, they're just super smooth, really opaque, and just absolutely lovely, interesting colors and finishes. You can tell that there's a lot of different directions you could go shade-wise here, and I've actually done some really cute two shadow looks using this palette by just putting one matte all over the crease and then putting one shimmer all over the lid. So easy, so fun. Let's do a quick eyeshadow look using the shades in my custom palette that I created, and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. I love designing my own eyeshadow palettes. I have so much fun putting together different color stories. I really like mixing different shades and finishes. I really, really love the palette builder tool. I know I've said it a bunch of times already in this video, but I just think it's so much fun. Even if you are not planning on making a purchase, I would recommend just going and playing around with their palette builder because it is genuinely so much fun. I've had nothing but good experiences from the products to the shipping to the customer service. Everything has been so on point with Lethal and that's part of the reason why I'm really excited to be working with them as an affiliate now. I really try to just stick with brands and products that I have genuinely long loved and are very tried and true. I don't want to recommend anything to you that I wouldn't shell out my own money for. Does that make sense? So I'm really excited about my new palette. I'm excited to be able to offer you a 20% off code that is only good through the end of March. So make sure you take advantage of that if you're interested in trying Lethal Cosmetics. I would love to hear what you think about the palette that I designed. Have you tried the brand? Which shadows are your favorites? Do you have anything on your wish list? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Get it? Do you get it? That was a pun. Real life? Well, it's not really real life, because it's on camera. You already- they already know. They already know, Amanda. You don't have to tell them. It's fine. Using this- what? Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Nailing it. Killing it. Awesome. Are you help? Yeah, I am. What now? Yep. Yeah. Oh man! What? That was gonna be something really fun, but it was gonna be noisy. I'm not doing a talking part yet, so you don't have to be quiet yet. I don't know. Wait, to film. Okay. The words escape me. I did it. Yay! I am really, really happy with my makeup today. Really happy with it. I'm trying out a bunch of new stuff. You'll probably see this video next, but. You can always look in the description box because I list what I'm wearing, so you'll know. It'll be a spoiler alert, but look how just like fresh 
That looks so fresh. That look like a ripe little peach. A ripe little casually sweaty peach. Fresh plucked from a tree. Was that weird? That was too much, wasn't it? It was. Okay, sorry about that. I love your face, genuinely, so much. And I'm glad that you're here and I will see you in my next one soon. Okay, bye.